Shout out to Caressa for sending me this story. And of course, you know who this is. This is Robert F. Smith. Don't get uh, upset. Is nothing bad about what I'm about to talk about involving him. This has nothing to do with the last couple of stories that I've done about him. But he's basically back on his donate campaign or his gifting campaign, I should say, because he gives gifts. He doesn't donate. So Robert F. Smith is now decided to gift $50 million to support STEM student science, technology, and engineering, and mathematics at HBCUs. The Student Freedom Initiative announced today a $50 million personal gift from Robert F. Smith, philanthropist and founder, chairman, and CEO of Vista Equity Partners. This gift matches the initial funding of $50 million provided by the Fund to, fin fund to Foundation announced in June 2020. Student Freedom Initiative is a public charity whose mission is to serve as a catalyst for freedom and professional and life choices for students attending minority serving institutions. The initiative will offer a student and a family centric income contingent payment alternative to the crushing burden of high cost fixed payment debt in the context of our commitment to a program that provides holistic support to students and capacity building support for participating institutions. Equally important, the initiative offers paid internships in a student's area of study, tutoring, mentorships and targeted HBCU capacity building each year. Thousands of black graduates from HBCUs across America into the workforce with a crushing debt burden that stunts future decisions and prevents opportunities and choices, said Robert F. Smith, who is also the board chair of the Student Freedom Initiative. A college education should empower and prepare our next generation for a limitless future. The Student Freedom Initiative is a culmination of work that followed my give to the Morehouse College class of 2019. The $1.6 trillion student debt crisis in our country is a human rights crisis. The initiative is purposely, I'm sorry, purpose, purposefully built to redress historic economic and social inequities and to offer a sustainable, scalable platform to invest in the education of future black leaders. I urge others to join this important cause so that together we can liberate the human spirit. With 65% of black wealth, Consumed by the intolerable, intolerable burden of student debt, the initiative was initially established to create on-ramp to jobs of the 21st century. Following Smith's historic gift to eliminate the student debt of all 2019 Morehouse graduates and their parents, the team identified the systemic problems with the current student, le student loan structure. With limited options, many students and their families have little choice but to turn to parent plus loans and private loans that account for well more than half of the debt incurred to attend HBCUs. This is the only structure that we know of that has been built for HBCUs to support student at scale and that does not depend on endowment of a university or funding from by for profit funders, said Dr. Michael Lomax, CEO of UNCF and board member of the initiative. Robert F. Smith's extraordinary philanthropy is a giant first step toward a self-sustaining pool of funds that we can invest in promising students, particularly those pursuing STEM careers. Additional board members include Robert F. Smith, Vista Equity Partners founder, chairman and CEO, Henry Lewis Gates Jr., director of Hutchins Center for African, Amer African and African American Research at the Harvard University, Linda Wilson, CEO of Fund2 Foundation, Bob Jane, founder and chairman of the Jane Family Institute and co-chief investment officer of Millennium Management. Jim Runcy, Education Finance Institute co-founder and executive director and Keith B. Schultz, executive director of Student Freedom Initiative. The initiative will begin operations with 11 HBCUs that will be announced before the end of November. The program is intended to be made incriminately available to all qualifying STEM juniors and seniors at all HBCUs over the next five years following the fall 2021 academic year. Amazing. Now, it's way more to that article. What I'll do is I will post the link and you can read the rest of it. It's a pre it's a lot more that goes after that. But I just wanted to cover that part right there. I'm telling you, the guy is just simply amazing. And I hope they don't pull no goofy crap like they did with the whole tax thing, you know, with the last couple of stories I had to unfortunately do about him. But kudos to him and to this foundation. And I've always told people STEM, that school of STEM, if 
there's ever a reason if you really wanted to go to college, those are probably that's probably the school you would want to get into because that's the most funded school. And I've always said this before on my channel, and because it's mentioned in this article, I'm gonna say it again. When I was in college, the school of STEM used to get thousands, and I mean thousands of dollars like every semester. Because they is a lot of money that comes out of that school, especially probably in that engineering department. Engineers get paid a lot of money. Especially depending on what part of engineering they're going into, because there's various fields of engineering. But shout out to Robert S. Smith, shout out to this company, and shout out to all the other people that are a part of this as well. Um, you know, they don't get that much credit mainly because they're they're making him pretty much the face of that, mainly because he has most of the fortune. So why not? Um, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments.